صباح الخير جود مورنينج افري وان ويلكم تو مام ثانك يو مايكرو تيك فور ذس سبيشال ايفنت هوستد فور ذا سكند تايم ان لبنان اي وود اشور ذات مايكرو تيك راوتر او اس از اكستريملي باورفول اند كونفيجوريبل اكوردنج تو يور نيدز ا بلانتي اوف فيتشر ان انتويتيف جوي انترفيس ثرو وين بوكس And the best of all, there is no annual subscription fees like other vendors. So in result, Microtech does it all. Our topic today is network load balancing workshop by Router OS. Okay, I'm Ibrahim Sharif, Technical Operations Manager at CCG Lebanon. Uh, Computer communication engineer, I have more than eight years in experience in the IT industry. I am Microtech certified trainer. Uh, I have uh, four certifications. I'm Microsoft and Cisco certified. And here's my contact details for any inquiry or, or consultancy. So let's start introducing our company Consolidated Consultancy Group. Uh, we provide network and IT solutions ranging from infrastructure cabling to fully-fledged solutions like systems, sec security, uh, messaging and collaboration, and more. Our company was established early 2011 and has become one of the fastest IT growing, growing IT solutions in Lebanon and we are partners with world-leading companies. Our training center is powered by Knowledge Box Center. You can visit our social media and see the latest offers and the training. Here is a list of our partners. We provide power system, Microsoft licenses and systems, Leviton uh, regarding infrastructure solutions, ESAT for security, cloud backup, Adobe, Linux, Cisco, HP servers, and Palo Alto. Uh, special thanks for Flash to Flash Start for supporting us today and uh, launching its distribution in Lebanon through us, through CCG. Uh, Flash Start is an Italian company with more than 15 years experience in securing the internet they have a cloud web and content app filter through DNS where you can block uh, ransomwares, malwares, botnets, viruses, uh, and more. They have uh, a powerful reporting tool. Uh, you can pass by our exhibitor stand and collect your free trial card gift from Flash Start. Our services and support in Microtech as, we, as I mentioned, we are a Microtech partner and we have certified, uh, certified engineers on board. Our services, we provide network solution design, installation and configuration, management and support, VPN tunnels for multi-branches company, hotspot with vouching system for malls, resto cafe, etc., bonding, load balance, link failover, point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint wireless links, quality of, sor of service, shaping, queuing, bandwidth control, triple POE server setup with online ready server, full wireless coverage for universities using Capsman, and finally, flash start service. Our agenda today, we will introdu introduce the load balancing concept and advantages. We will define PCC method and mechanism. Then we will take typical scenario on PCC. And finally, we will provide hints for best practices, deployment, and validation. So let's start. What's, uh, what is network load balancing? It's a technique to distribute the traffic across multiple WAN leaks. One links, multiple internet gateways. Why? To maximize the throughput and minimize the latency. And using multiple internet gateways, 
will provide also redundancy. So the performance will increase of your network and the whole system cost is reduced because you don't have to buy a costly machine, a costly hardware appliance and do the load uh, balancing configuration. It's totally free in router OS. We all know that uh, the amount of traffic will affect the company workflow. And if there is a sudden spike, for example, in, uh, uh, in the traffic, it, it might be difficult for your employees to continue their work. By loan balancing, the increase of the traffic will be reflected to the work quality, so it's scalable. Also, the impact of link failure, because it affects the business runtime, by load balancing, you can achieve uh, redundancy, which means when the traffic is sent to two or more internet gateways and one internet link fails, the traffic will be sent to other working gateways. Similarly, if there is, for example, uh, a maintenance on one internet link, this way you will reduce the downtime and increase the uptime and improve the performance of your network. I am sure that all IT administrators here can enjoy a great flexibility in handling uh, the outgoing traffic using the method we are going to explain in next slide. You are flexible to manage and maintain your network. So most of you know that there are many types of load balancing supported by Router OS. And PCC is an example. It stands for Per Connection Classifier. It's a process to sort the packets into streams and mark them for identification later. How? By using Mangle facility. Using Mangle to manipulate packets uh, and adding marks to these packets like if then then performing some actions. This method, this method also uh, uses a hashing algorithm. It's a hash function, mathematical function, to first sort the traffic based on source address, destination address, source port, destination port, or various combina combination. Then we will be using packet mark marking and routing mark to ensure that the traffic will be sent to the specified WAN interface. Of course, we will not uh, mark the packets by color, as illustrated here. We will mark the packets by name using Mangle facility. So for example, the red packets will always go through WAN1 if WAN1 is available and uh, reachable. Let's explain uh, briefly what does the IPv4 header contain. It contains source address of the sender, destination address of the receiver, source port, destination port, and the protocol used. So how it works, how PCC works, uh, it takes selected field from here, from the IP header, with the help of the hashing algorithm and converts this value into a 32-bit value. Then this value will be divided by a number called denominator and it will be uh, compared with a number called remainder. You can choose many fields from here, uh, from the IP header. Each has its func uh, functionality. Uh, for example, if you choose both addresses and ports, this is the, random, uh, the most random way to spread traffic across the multiple WAN links you have in your network. Uh, it's reliable and fast because it contains uh, various combination ports and addresses. For example, if you choose source address, all traffic from a particular client 
will always match this PCC rule, and the connection will be put on the same link. Further details you can find it on Wiki. How to set PCC? You have to go to Manger Rule, Advanced tab. Uh, we need first to specify the field from IP header, the denominator, and remainder. For example, if you have two one connections, the denominator and remainder should be two over zero for the first rule and two over one for the second rule. Similar, if you have a three one connections, three over zero, three over one, and a three over two for the third one. Uh, let's pick this first rule. What does it? What does it mean, the first rule? To produce the output of the hash function given, given the packet source address and divided by two. If the total equals zero, so the, these packets will be captured and they will be sent through one one. If the, if the total equals one, these packets will be captured and they will be sent through one, two. It's very simple to, uh, to understand. Similar if you have three, one connections. This is how to set PCC. Let's take a typical scenario with dual one. Uh, we have two internet connections. Let's say we have two modems. Okay, our router board is here. It acts as firewall and load balancer. Uh, we have layer two switch and our cute users. Uh, we suppose that the basic portion configuration, like assigning IP addresses, DHCP, DNS, are all successfully set. We are using here a DHCP client for both one links. So the subnet for 1.1 one one is 192.168.0.0 slash 24, 1.0 slash 24 for 1.2, one and our LAN network is 3.0 slash 24. First step, uh, in first step, we need to catch all incoming connections to our router board and mark them. This is the first step. So we need to create two Manger rules because we have two one connections. Go to IP, firewall, mangle. For the first rule, we are using chain input and in interface, the one, one. So in first step, we are marking all incoming connection to our router board. Going to action tab, action will be mark connection, and name this mark. You have also to check path through, uh, because mark connection action uh, doesn't have implicit uh, path through option. So you are free to, to, to check it or not, but in this case you have to check this option just to tell the router or the, the packets to go over the next Manger rule. So this is the first rule, and repeat the same process for one two. In interface will be one two, and another mark name. This is for the first step. Step two, we need to in, to make sure that all traffic from the router board returns through the proper interface and routing table. So two additional mangle rules using chain output and using the connection mark created before in previous step, going to action mark routing and name this route mark. And you have to check path through. And repeat the same process for one, two. So this step, we uh, 
we make sure all traffic from the router board returns through the proper interface and routing table. Third step, we need to accept the connections to each connected WAN interface. Two more rules using chain pre-routing. The destination address for uh, in first rule uh, is the one one subnet in interface sorry in interface is uh, LAN our LAN network and accept as action. Second rule with destination address the subnet of one two in interface LAN and accept. Coming to PCC rules, because as we mentioned, because we have two WAN connections, you need to create two PCC rules. So first rule, we will be using chain pre-routing. Choose in interface your local area network going to advanced tab and configure your PCC rule. This is the first rule for one one. We selected both addresses and ports. It depends on your case. With two over zero for the, for the first rule. Uh, just to note that pre-routing chain will be capturing all the traffic, even the traffic, uh, the local traffic, which is going to the router board itself like uh, Telnet or SSH. And you know when using Mangle, you are consuming uh, more resources like CPU, for example. So to avoid this, just choose address type local and check invert to, to exclude uh, local traffic. Going to action, uh, mark connection and name this mark. And same process for one, two, but but this time we change PCC to two over one for the second rule. Final manga rules, we need to uh, route the marked packets previously. So two more final uh, manga rules using chain pre-routing, choose in interface LAN and the connection mark created before, and same rule for one, two. Mark routing and name this mark. To validate your configuration, your mangle rules should look like this. Another note, uh, this scenario, this connection is asymmetrical, so the distribution of the traffic is like 50%, for one one and 50% for one two. What if you want to force more traffic through, for example, one one, uh, you can do it, you can wait one interface higher uh, by adding one PCC rule. So let's go back. You can add third PCC rule with two over two for one one. So First rule, PCC rule for one one, second PCC rule for one two, and third PCC rule also for one one. So the distribution of traffic is 70% for one one and 30% for one two. Of course, you, you need to, ha to, to add the default routes, okay? This is the first rule, go to IP routes, destination address, any IP. The gateway is uh, modem IP, one one modem IP. You can also check gateway, uh, choose ping. This is a failover uh, facility. If this gateway doesn't respond, it will disconnect that line and put the load on the rest of lines. And don't forget to, to choose your created routing mark. Same process for second rule. The gateway is for modem two. Another note, uh, this approach will, will not work if the, for example, if the failure 
happens after the gateway. The router board uh, will never know that, for example, there is no internet connection or on, on modem one, because if there is no internet connection on modem one, this IP, the modem IP, 0 0.1, will stay up. So the best practice here is to uh, ping open DNS uh, IP addresses, like Google. It's this, this hint available on Wiki. You can check it and try. Also, you have to add the routes with distance. Go to IP uh, route, destination any IP, the first gateway. Check ping, check gateway ping, and distance one, just to tell the router which, gate, which gateway to ping first. And again, for the, for the second one, same process, with distance two. Your route rules should look like this, okay? Two NAT rules, this is very easy, source NAT, out interface one one, action masquerade, and add another rule for one two. This is to validate your configuration. Coming to validation, uh, you can go to IP firewall connection tab and uh, make sure that your mangle rules are working perfectly. Let's take this first statement with source address and destination address. This connection is going through one two, while the fourth connection is going to one one. So your configuration is correct. You can also, uh, for example, make a speed test on some of uh, LAN users and check the traffic tab of each one interface. You will see that uh, the speed and bandwidth will be aggregated. Another hint, uh, it's highly recommended to use open DNS when configuring the DNS on your router board, IP DNS. Uh, it's recommended to choose open DNS like Google because may some users are accessing ISP1 DNS through ISP2 and ISP1 is blocking a request, DNS request from uh, outside their IPs. To recap, from uh, what we have configured, uh, we got new connections inbound on each one get marked. The, outbo the outbound uh, connections with that mark get a routing mark. Land traffic heading outbound gets load balanced with the same routing mark. Routing marks match default gateway routes and head out that specified interface. Finally, verification of the load balance, how to verify your configuration. In summary, uh, using a load balanced multi-one setup uh, help, help us meet a few design goals. Failover in case of ISP failure, increase uh, the total bandwidth for users and distribute bandwidth utilization across providers. Avoiding the overload of any single internet connection, improving the reliability availability through redundancy, and optimizing the connectivity overall. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I hope my presentation. Thank you. I hope my presentation was beneficial for you, the reference of information available on these links. Uh, you can pass by our exhibitor stand and uh, see our services. And uh, don't forget to collect your free trial card gift from a flash start. Enjoy your mom. Thank you.
global one, and you can configure stick connection. You, you can you can configure a, st a sticky connection. It, it's called sticky connection, where you can uh, specify that, for example, this VLAN will always go over through one, uh, over one one. Or for example, this type of connection should go always through one one. It depends on your case.